Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is one of the greatest days of the year where incredible opportunities for forgiveness and mercy are presented by the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. The day of Arafah, which is the ninth of the Hijjah, is the day of recognition, repentance, and realization. Coming from the root word meaning to know, you and I are invited to utilize this magnificent day of connection to God the Almighty. Once Imam al-Sajjad salam saw a man begging others for money in Arafah day. He turned towards him and said, Woe be to you! On such a day do you beg other than the Almighty Allah? On this day, even fetuses in wombs are expected to be included within the mercy of the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they will be delighted. Here are some of the things we should do on this day. Number one, it's recommended to fast on the day of Arafah, except if fasting weakens us from worship such as prayer and dua. Number two, perform ghusl. In doing so, we intend to shed the loads of sins from our souls as we purify our bodies. Number three, after the prayers of Dhuhr and Asr, it's recommended to recite a two-unit salah outside, i.e. under the open sky. In the first ruk'ah, after Surah Al-Fatiha, we recite Surah Al-Ikhlas. On the second ruk'ah, we recite Surah Al-Kafirun after Surah Al-Fatiha. Number four, Ziyara of Imam Al-Hussein alayhi salam. For it is greatly emphasized by the Ahl al-Bayt on such a day. Number five, recitation of the special dua of Imam Al-Hussein, peace and blessings be upon him, on the day of Arafah. It is narrated that he left his tent, he looked up to the sky and extended his hand like a beggar, then recited those memorable words. The dua is a colossal treasure for the god wary. Try to read and reflect upon its meaning. Divide the dua into sections if necessary. Stop, reflect, and don't hesitate to shed a tear. Narrations tell us. It's the day of forgiveness of sins, to the extent that some sins can only be forgiven on days like Arafah. So speak to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the heart, mention the sins and make a genuine commitment not to do them again. Number seven, don't forget to pray for others before yourself, especially on a day like this. A man by the name of Abdullah ibn Jundab says, I heard Imam al-Kadhim alayhi salam say, if you pray for a believer, a caller from the heavens will say to you, for every dua you recited, you'll get 100,000 times more. Pray for Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam and his reappearance. Perhaps do a turuk salah for him or give sadaqah, charity on his behalf. Number nine, there are some other wonderful deeds to do on Arafah day. For example, Dua 47 of Sahif al sajjadiyah or the Dua of Imam al-Sajjad on this day. Check the link below the video to perform these deeds. Finally, don't forget the last hour before sunset, where it is recommended to beg the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness, to perform tasbih and the remembrance of Allah, it is highly recommended to recite Dua Al-Asharat. The link is also found below the video. Remember, this could be our last Arafah day. Let's ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for tawfiq to be of those who are invited to his sacred house to perform the Hajj next year, inshaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all your deeds.